Aerospace and aeronautical engineering. Is it as cool and fascinating as it sounds? What's the difference between aerospace and aeronautical? What's the scope like? What are the colleges? Can I get 1 crore plus packages? Yes, you can. So all the details in this short video. And it is said that you should always make the correct choice, informed choice. Even though it is a lower branch, it doesn't matter. And that concept of lower branch is just there in your head. Because there was a student of mine who had got below 100 rank, still chose material and metallurgical engineering and very happy about it and doing very well in life. So make sure that you have done all your homework, your research, you have all the information before choosing the branch. Okay, just don't go get fascinated and choose something. So let's get ahead with the video and quickly like this video if you have not yet done that and subscribe to the Vedantu J English channel because if you don't then you will miss out on all these you know informative videos our academic content and you know the counseling and the strategies and everything so be a part of it like the video right away right now for your captain shares i did my graduation from nit nagpur research from iit bombay and training mentoring kids for more than 13 years so here is your opportunity so i'm glad that you like the video so let's understand what aerospace engineering is see aerospace is like the mother branch it has everything and anything that flies and it includes right from the design phase how that aircraft should look like which material to use what wiring should be done everything to how to manufacture it which parts which thing should fit where and how to also maintain it because these things are very costly you cannot buy a new aeroplane every five years so they stick around for 15 20 30 years also so you need to maintain it and you need to understand uh, uh, what are the things which you know get worn out which part should be replaced what is the better uh, part which can be used which will stay for a longer time all these things are there and it includes everything guys right from missiles satellites rockets helicopters hot air balloons paper aeroplane uh, uh, normal aeroplane fighter jets everything comes under aerospace in aerospace right it's a broader field and it encompasses both aeronautical it encompasses both aeronautical and astronautical engineering these are the two sub branches under aerospace so what is this aeronautical and astronautical aeronautical is basically study of aircrafts and astronautical is basically study of everything which goes in outer space like satellites spaceships some mission going from one planet to the other that is astronautical astronomy you would have heard so astronautical aeronautical is within the earth's atmosphere like helicopter hot air balloon all right a normal commercial aeroplane all this come under aeronautical so if you are not sure that whether i would like to go to you know outer space technologies or within the earth's uh, atmosphere technologies better to choose aerospace and most of the colleges often aerospace some colleges do offer aeronautical engineering but you should know then you your scope is then limited only to within the earth's atmosphere flying objects but that includes drones aeroplanes helicopters etc else if you are very clear i want to be a rocket scientist then go for astronautical engineering all right now having this doubt clear let's proceed ahead regarding the scope let's talk about aerospace because usually people choose aerospace engineering and most of the colleges also offer that see you will be involved in the design phase the development phase the research what kind of things to be used then manufacturing then testing it then also replacing those things by maintaining it and so on and so forth so everything will be involved in aerospace and so many departments are there in every company sometimes there will be a big company they will be outsourcing a part of that work to some other company so you can enter into that company also a lot of dependencies are there because one company will never manufacture all the things sometimes people also go into avionics now avionics is again a special branch where you deal with only instrumentation so it needs the knowledge of electronics or electricals also because you see uh, the pilots uh, at the cockpit you will see so many gauges clusters and instruments are there so many readings have to be there, uh, taken so it has to be very accurate so a lot of avionic systems also uh, uh, you know need to be developed and so many subsidiary companies which provide that support all right 
Having said that, within India, what happens is the scope is limited to government organizations mainly because private players are very less. Yes, some companies are there, but don't expect too high packages also. In government, the good part is that you will get your salaries on time, your job is stable, you have uh, you are going to get all the facilities, maybe a home, a quarters, uh, electricity, all those things are taken care of. Also, you get that job satisfaction. You don't have to worry too much about, you know, climbing the ladder here and there. And plus, uh, you know, you will have that uh, pride in you that you are working for the country. Maybe you are developing a missile system or maybe you are taking part in a rocket uh, program. Go, who knows? So that sense of satisfaction and pride will be there in you when you work in government organizations. So civil military uh, divisions, satellite, rockets, missiles, weapon systems, all these uh, are the areas on which you can focus within India, especially in the government organizations. Private players are limited. But when you go abroad, suddenly you have many options. Okay, Many private players are also there. And the best countries to work with this aerospace engineering degree is US, Germany and France. Canada, UK are also good. UAE is also good. A lot of manufacturing units and you know, those technologies have been uh, recently developed in UAE. And UAE, basically Dubai and all of that, they are very, they are very close to India. Uh, the cost of living is also good only. It's not very high. And uh, you can uh, feel like as if this is like a very posh version of India. Okay. Uh, but when you go to US, France, Germany, Canada, UK, these are very developed nations. Cost of living is also very high. Keep that in mind. Although the salary packages will be on the higher side, cost of living also proportionately increases. All right. A lot of roles are there, be it space exploration, autonomous drones, AI-based aviation systems, a lot of research is happening, simulation, aircraft manufacturing and satellite design. You might have even seen this in movies that the uh, these days the war in the air does not happen where the pilot himself is going to the other country with his aeroplane. In fact, the pilot is sitting in one nice AC cabin and he's flying the aeroplane, which is basically a UAV, unmanned aerial vehicles. The pilot is somewhere, the drone, the aircraft is somewhere else. Nicely, the drone will go attack that particular, uh, you know, target and come back. And even if the drone is lost, human lives are not sacrificed. So these kind of technologies are getting more and more advanced. Even AI is coming into these systems. So maybe soon we might not even hit pilots, who knows? So the development of AI and usage of AI and, you know, is going to be heavy in the years to come. In fact, there is a very niche branch, which is also called as drone technology. Some, uh, you know, colleges do offer this and sometimes as a specialization also. So drones are going to be there everywhere in the future. Right now, regulations have to be made. Uh, but like uh, now you might be seeing drones being used for photography and cinematography. But soon it will be used for deliveries. Already it is used, but it will become more wide scale. Drones will be used for transporting big, big objects. You will not have delivery people. You will have these drones and these drones will also work automatically. It's not like there will be a person controlling the drone. And just that you place an order, automatically the drone gets triggered. It will pick up your parcel, fly in the air. It knows where to go, drop it and come back. Automatically charge itself. So human intervention will be less and less. So this drone technology is also going to be the future. And when you do aerospace, you can also enter into this particular space. A lot of startups are there. And I feel in India, the scope in drones is going to be there. So now let's talk about the different companies which can recruit you within India and abroad. You might have heard about HL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, which developed the Tejas aircraft. It was involved in the recent war. DRDO which developed the BrahMos missiles. Yes, very cool. ISRO, which developed our rockets like GSLV, PSLV, which deliver satellites which go around the earth, right? And even NAL, which is focused mainly on the research. This is within India. Also, some airline companies are there, which do recruit aerospace engineers for very specific purposes, but that scope is limited. But more scope is there even abroad, like you have NASA, which is like ISRO, but it is in abroad. It's in US. The biggest manufacturers of aeroplanes, Boeing and Airbus. Too big. 
okay you should uh, you should really work hard to get into these companies also a lot of small companies which uh, work in the maintenance part the repair part refurbishing and aeroplane part so a lot of such subsidiary companies are there where you can get jobs these are the top recruiters so if you talk about the salary ranges for an entry level engineer with hardly any experience you can earn in india 6 to 12 lakhs but abroad it can be anywhere between 60000 to 75000 dollars so you can convert it right now the currency conversion uh, you know varies between 85 rupees to 90 rupees so 1 dollar is around that much rupees if you go to mid level engineer you can go up to 24 lakhs but abroad you can go up to 1 lakh or uh, dollars senior engineer goes up to 40 lakhs in india and abroad you can go up to 1 lakh 30000 dollars principal engineer up to 50 lakhs and 1 lakh 60000 dollars abroad engineering manager with 10 years of experience 75 lakhs package and uh, abroad 1 lakh 70000 dollars these are all yearly packages director of engineering very rare very few people will become that so 75 lakhs to 1 crore and abroad the package is up to 2 lakh 20000 dollars vice president 20 plus years of experience 1 crore plus and salaries up to 3 lakh dollars per year so that is the scope so there is scope but abroad your salaries are higher in india the salaries are little on the mid range side not very high but not very low also if you talk about the colleges well the best colleges to study aerospace engineering is from iit bombay iit madras iit kharagpur iit kanpur even iic bangalore does the research work nit delhi and iest shivipur indian institute of space and science technology iist tiruvananthapuram and also uh, vishveshwarya technical university in belgavi these are the top government colleges where you can study aerospace engineering if you talk about the top private colleges you have srm yes in chennai vellore institute of technology vit amit is there amrita in school of engineering is there chandigarh university is there kalinga institute of technology in bhubaneswar is there sastra is there in tamil nadu manipal in technical in, uh, technological university is there manipal academy of higher education is there you also have hindustan institute of technology and science in chennai and lovely professional university in punjab these are the top private colleges obviously it is better to study over here but in case your passion is very strong but you couldn't make it or you don't want to take a drop you can consider these top universities in private sector so i hope you found this information very useful and maybe you are a junior watching this video and maybe you are now fascinated to do everything that it takes to enter the top best colleges so which video you want to uh, you know uh, discover next from me please let me know in the comment section and i will make a video on that thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing